so this video is going to be uh, to show you how to navigate Fast Forward, one of our other really good online programs uh, for GED prep. Uh, and it covers all four subjects, so we really like it. So here's the website, ae.ket.org. You just type that right into the address bar. Uh, and your login information is up here. You should already have that from your instructor. Your instructor should have gone ahead and made you an account uh, and sent you that information. Okay, so I'm going to log in and show you around a little bit. All right, I'm going to make my face a little bit smaller. So you see here that you have all four subject areas to work in. Um, in particular, I'm a fan of these three. Um, for math, I really like our EdReady program a lot better. Um, I feel like it uh, explains things to you a little bit more. Um, it has really good videos to show you how to work through problems and it has a lot more practice opportunities. This is more something for you to practice in once you kind of already had the skills down. Okay, so this is still really good for practice, but as far as learning the skills, I wouldn't recommend starting this uh, as your only go-to math uh, resource, right? I would work in EdReady, and then once you need some more practice, come back here and practice some of the things in math, okay? So um, I really recommend this for language arts, for social studies, and for science. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick social studies because all of them are kind of set up in a similar way. All right, so we've got a tour and you can, you can do that on your own. I'm just gonna show you some things that I uh, wanna point out to you. So the first thing I would do in any of the subjects is take this pretest in social studies, okay? So this pretest um, has 25 multiple choice questions you see it's set up a lot like the ready test where you have pages right you have to click the different tabs to see all the information you've got your question on the other side you answer it um you hit next page to go to the next question it's not going to tell you right off if you got it right or wrong but towards the end it'll tell you all of these questions whether you got them right or wrong it'll be red if you got it wrong green if you got it right and uh, I believe it gives you um, explanations in the quizzes for why you got it wrong. Now, the cool thing is after you finish this um, pretest, let's go back to social studies. After you finish that pretest, it takes the problems, the questions that you got wrong, and it will assign you those in a, in a social studies plan. So on the plan, it basically has all of these, I'm getting mixed up here. So after you do the pretest, check out the social studies plan and it will assign you things throughout the lessons based on the questions that you missed. So it takes what you need to work on and tells you, hey, check out lesson 2.1 on democracy. Hey, check out the fundamental economics concepts. You missed a question on that. So, so doing the pretest tells you what you need to study. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, so that should be the very first thing that you do. And then once you get your study plan, you can see what you need to study. So let's look at these lessons too. So let's open up the first one. Um, so you've got a text here to read, okay? And it's just like pages in a book. You're gonna click next to navigate, go to the next page. Uh, you've got your title up here. We know that titles are really important for knowing the main idea of what you're reading about. You've got graphs. You have some videos that you can watch. You have some uh, text features here, a bolded word. On any blue word, if you click it, it will bring up the definition for you. Um, so that's really a neat thing. Now, the other thing that uh, a lot of my students really like about Fast Forward is that you can highlight. So you want to Click, hold down, and highlight a section. And when you let go, this little play button appears and it will read it to you. So we're gonna pause and you'll notice over here on the left, I've got a, um, 
a little, uh, 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 I don't know what you call that. You've got some features for controlling the reading of the text to you. So you can pause, you can stop it, uh, you can download an MP3 of it so you can listen to it as you drive around. Um, I mean, how cool is that? Listen about uh, the Civil War or Native Americans and settlers. Um, let's see, you've got some other cool features here too. So, or, or you can X out of the player if you want to practice reading independently. Uh, another cool tool, uh, if you struggle with dyslexia, there's a lot of dyslexic uh, people out there. Uh, a lot of times changing the background color can help you uh, read the words a little bit easier, make sense of the text. So you have these background color options. And those are very, very helpful for a lot of people. It's also easier on your eyes, this black and white um, thing that we're used to on the internet, sometimes it's hard. So if you change up the color of the background, you can get some more study time in. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you've got some other features up here. You've got calculator. You can highlight things in the text. Um, in theory. <laughs> you know, I need to play with that so I can, oh, so you, maybe you, yeah, we'll get, we'll get back to that because I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe you can show me. Um, but you've got, so just a lot of really cool tools that you can do. So let's go through and see, I've got a train outside, in case you didn't hear. There are also uh, opportunities in the text for you to have practice questions and to practice what you're reading about. And they're called, oh, here we go, a skill check. So these little skill checks you can answer right here. Um, we're just gonna put some random things so I can show you how it works. You can check it right there and it will tell you uh, on the bottom whether you get it right or wrong. So so on this one, I have another chance to try it. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but after you do that, it'll tell you uh, what you got wrong and why it was wrong. So you can learn about these little skill checks as you go to check your understanding. Um, on the right over here, you have these little breadcrumbs for navigating through the lessons. So if you have to uh, step away and come back to it later, you can always go back to where you were right um, and then up here you've got these other breadcrumbs for going back to social studies or going back to your main dashboard okay so um, let's see I do want to show you another thing really quick um, after you finish a lesson I'm gonna click through so you can hopefully see Yeah, so after you finish a lesson, right underneath it is going to pop up another uh, uh, similarly named lesson, but it's a lesson review. So this is a quiz based on what you just studied. So this is a, a really good way to get some test practice in. So if we click this, um, we've got a quiz. It's only 10 questions. Right, so short and sweet, but you get some really valuable practice time. So you can uh, do these questions and you can check it right then and there and it'll tell you whether you got it right or wrong and why, okay? Um, and all of the, all of the uh, 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 content areas are set up just the same way. They have the lessons, they've got the uh, pretest and the study plan, and then they have quizzes that pop up when you finish a lesson. So they're all pretty easy to navigate. So, you know, go dig into these content areas and uh, prep your time. If you're someone that needs hours, I can, I can see the time that you spend in this on my teacher end up here in reports. Okay, so if you want me to record your time, uh, shoot me a message and say, hey, I wanna know how much time I've spent in this this week uh, and I can get back to you on that. So other than that, any questions that you have on this, please reach out, please email me or send me a message and we'll get you taken care of. So have fun working in fast forward.